thanks for joining me for Bible journaling. Today I'm going to be working on day 137 in my Encourage a Moment to Breathe devotional. Um, I'm going to be using this cute little The Paper Shelter image called Happy Times. And then I'm going to be using my Hungry JPEG, the Majestic May bundle for my title there. The top font is Sharisha script and the bottom font is Lebec filled. It also comes empty in case you want to trace it on and color it in. But I'll put a link to all that stuff down in the description box if you would like to pick it up and do the same image in your Bible. I'm going to go ahead here and put a couple of quick coats of gesso on my page so I don't have to worry about bleed through or anything like that. I always put two coats on in case I missed a spot. That way I make sure that I've covered it. And I'm going to go ahead and outline my um, verse so I don't forget that um, towards the end I always splatter a bunch of stuff on there and I want to make sure I don't forget about it. So I'm going to color my little guy here with some Derwent Inks Tints pencils and I put a list of those at the start of the video if you'd like to pause and go back and write them down or if you'd like to finish the video and then you can remember that at the end I did put a list of those in case you want to know what colors I used. So I'm going to go ahead and our verse today is in Hebrews 11:6, and it says, Now without faith it is impossible to please God, since the one who draws near to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. That's an awesome verse. So let's go ahead and read my story here while I'm coloring. So our story today says we had just finished reading our morning devotional. That's when my daughter looked at me and said, Sometimes I don't know if God is real. I mean, I want to, but sometimes I just don't know. I didn't say anything at first. She had just revealed a piece of her heart, and I wanted to stop time for just a moment. The truth is, I've doubted sometimes too. There have been days when I've struggled to see God in anything, and I just wasn't sure anymore. I've whispered, God, help me believe, increase my faith, more times than I can count. There have been days when the doubt threatened to consume me for good and left me wanting to give up Christianity. So many times I've asked God to reveal himself to me. I felt like an Israelite begging for a sign. There were some nights I remembered reading my Bible, my kids a Bible story and thinking to myself, did this really happen? How can I teach them when I feel so uncertain? Thankfully, God heard my cry he didn't zap me with a ton of faith overnight. Instead, he made me walk through some long, dark valleys. It was in those valley moments, when I didn't see a way out or through, that he revealed himself the most. Two years ago, our home in Alabama wouldn't sell. Then a tornado ripped through town, destroying everything in its path, except my neighborhood. Another family needed a home, and ours was available. It's as if God had been keeping our house on hold just for this family. It's hard explaining to a 12 year old that sometimes we see God best when trials or even tornadoes come our way. He reveals himself in the most unexpected ways. So when my little girl tells me she just isn't sure, I tell her, it's okay, we'll figure it out together. And today, we're supposed to take a moment and confess your doubts to God. It's okay. We've all had them. He understands, too. Then ask God to reveal himself to you in an unexpected way today. Isn't that a great story? I love that. I know I have doubts sometimes, and you know I'm sure everybody else does, too. But it's just nice to know that someone else out there definitely has doubts, and, you know, it'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let you watch, finish watching the coloring and I'll chat with you in just a bit. I wish that I didn't have to wait Autumn leaves, please hurry Before I start to worry And his face gets blurry And I'll be on your 
as I close my eyes Oh, I've tried to set aside All this longing, but it won't hide I dream about you every night Winter cold, please hurry Bring him home before I worry And his face gets too blurry My love, I send you All right, so I finished my coloring there, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut out my image and place it where I'm going to want to put that. And then I'm gonna break out my Illustrated Faith watercolor set, and we're going to put some ink around on the page because I just cannot have it be that plain. That's just too boring for me. So I'm gonna use some of the pink, orange, and yellow, and I start out here, I'm gonna try to squish some on there, and then I didn't like how it looked the gesso was keeping it from doing anything so I've decided that that wasn't gonna work so I ended up and I keep putting my title on there just so I make sure that I don't put the ink underneath the title because it's a clear sticker so I don't want it to obscure the words I really want to be able to see that title so then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm end up taking some water and just kind of splashing it on the page and then dropping the ink into that splatter spot and then just letting it run around by itself and then uh, sometimes I get a little bit too much um, of a puddle in there and I just move it around with my my paintbrush just so that it doesn't sit in one spot and then I go back after I've dried it and I sometimes put a little bit more ink on there to darken it up because I wanted the spots to be pretty dark So I finished up my splattering there and I'm going to go ahead and place my title on my page and I'm just going to peel off a corner there and put it down and then I'm going to very carefully remove the backing sheet and squish it down as I put it on because once you put that sticker on there you are not going to get it up so make sure that your page is flat and you put it on slowly so that it's not all wrinkled up. Then I'm going to finish off my page with a little bit of journaling there in the corner and I'm going to put a date on there so I remember what day I did it. And that's going to do it for Bible journaling today. I hope you had fun. If you have a question, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye-bye.